Welcome to the part 2 of the series Migration of Brittany's which was the topic presented by Dasho Kamaura in a webinar. The full presentation can be accessed through the link given below in the description. Before we move on, don't forget to click the subscribe button. When we talk about effects of migration, a country can be affected economically, demography-wise, socially, politically and culturally. Back to the survey which was done in 2023, it showed that huge portion of younger productive people between 25 to 44 has been migrating out from the country. It was also found that more and more young females have migrated out from the country, which meant two things. Number one, young women are the caregivers for the aged and the young in Bhutanese society, and now it's being depleted. Number two, this age group are fertile group of the society and when they go abroad, they postpone marrying and pregnancy, which reduces the level of fertility in the country. In the last video, we covered about civil servants resigning from jobs and migrating out in huge numbers, which has led to negative repercussions. A planned, also known as safe, orderly migration is always better than unplanned migration. In our case, unfortunately, it has been unplanned migration. And to take an example from the civil servant group, the teachers living in middle of the school year has led to difficulty in replacing the required subject teacher. In case of health, human resource, specialized doctors or nurses which takes a lot of time to train, leave a vacant space leading to difficulty in providing quality health care. Not only that, shortage of human resources has created a lot of burden to those who are left behind. Looking into the category of development, migration can affect development in three ways. There can be changes in labor supply. As more people migrate, there will be less labor supply, which means the government has to raise wages of the laborers. And although the unemployment rate will reduce in the country, some sectors like agriculture will be negatively affected. Regarding remittances, uh, initially when people migrate, there will be remittances to the family members and as time goes by when people start to get permanent residence there will be reduction in remittances also and uh, people uh, more people when more people migrate uh, especially the qualified individuals like teachers doctors nurses accountants and all when those people migrate it will create a huge uh, brain drain to the country and not uh, not only to the country also to themselves because most of them don't get to work what they are qualified in one negative repercussions which was not covered in the presentation was psychological development of children who are left behind it was recently addressed by blogger mr doji Wancho. you can find his blog in the link below and uh, there's a study uh, about health impacts on children which was a systematic review they found that left behind children had increased risk of depression societal ideation anxiety conduct disorder substance use wasting and stunting lastly this video was aimed to create awareness among Bhutanis about the topic which is of great consequences to our country so that we can give significant attention to the problem for better solutions thank you